Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this cube logo in Affinity Designer. So we will make it as if the light comes from the top right side of the cube and the shadow is being cast on the bottom left side. So to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we make sure that Snapping and Snap to Grid are enabled. For this project we are going to use a grid. So we go to View, Grid and Axis, and we check on Show Grid. And then we go here to the Advanced tab to set up our grid. As a grid type we select Isometric. This grid is made of rhombuses, the top and the bottom angles are of 120 degrees, and the left and the right angles are of 60 degrees, so that's what we need. We are just going to increase the spacing a little bit, we are going to set it at 100 pixels. And then we can close the grid manager, so we have our grid that is set up and we can start drawing the figure. So to draw the figure we are going to take the pen tool, and we set the fill and the stroke to none. So we are going to make it each side of the cube to be of 5x5 five five grid units. So to do this we start here, somewhere in the upper side of the composition. And then we go towards the bottom left by 5 grid units. And then towards the bottom right by 5 grid units. And then towards the top right by 5 grid units. And then back to the starting point. And then we're going to set the fill color to a light purple. And then we press on escape. And then we're going to draw the other sides of the cube. So we start here at the left extremity of the first side of the cube. And then we go down by 5 grid units. We go towards the bottom right by 5 grid units. We go towards the top by 5 grid units. And then back to the starting point. And then we set the fill color to a darker shade of purple. And then we press on escape. And then finally the same way we draw the last side of the cube. So we start here in the middle of the composition. Here to the left extremity. Here to the bottom right. And here to the bottom. And then back to the starting point. And then we set the fill color to a shade of purple in between. Something like this. So now we have our three sides of the cube, we just need to draw the hexagonal stripe that goes in the middle of each side of the cube. So in order to do this we take the pen tool again. And then we go ahead and we draw an hexagonal shape of three grid units on each side, like this. So each side of the hexagon must have three grid units, and then we press on escape. And then we create a similar hexagonal shape of three grid units on each side, like this. And then we select both hexagonal shapes, and then we go here to the subtract operator. So this removes the small hexagonal shape from the larger one. And now we can set the fill color to white. And once we have done this, we can remove the grid as we are not going to need it anymore. And we can see the final result and see if we are satisfied with it. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a cube logo in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!